In what is rapidly becoming a pressing ethical issue, a Vice report noted that Google hasn't deleted deepfake porn videos of Melania Trump. Vice first published the report on Monday, noting that a preliminary Google search with the first lady's name plus deepfake in the search field will yield fake porn videos of Melania in numerous entries. At press time, Google had not responded to Bustle's request for comment. In one of the clips, the first lady's face is superimposed on an adult film performer's face as the actress masturbates in front of the camera. The aforementioned fake clip was first uploaded two months ago and appeared on the far-right community website and social network called Vote. But it isn't just the first lady whose face has been appropriated by fake porn creators, the face of Donald Trump's daughter and advisor Ivanka Trump has also been used in fabricated porn videos, according to Vice. In January, Vice reported on an AI-based app that gave users the tools to create fake porn of pretty much anyone they wanted. It was open source, meaning that the app was for the public to use. Vice reported that a user named Deepfakes would swap the faces of celebrities onto adult film actresses in porn clips and then upload the videos on the now-banned Deepfakes subreddit. While Reddit promptly banned the subreddit, internet giant Google has yet to do anything about these user-generated videos, according to Vice. The publication noted that the company's approach toward requests for removing such content from Google was extremely cautious. Karsten Coel, Getty Images News, Getty Image sent its webpage titled Legal Removal Requests. Google says that it will carefully review the material and then consider blocking, removing, or restricting access to it when it comes to abusive content. Google says abusive content on Google's services may also violate Google's product policies, so before sending us a legal request, consider flagging the post, image, or video for one of our content teams to review, Vice spoke with Haney Fari, chairman of Dartmouth College's computer science department, who said that the problem of deepfakes goes beyond porn. Anytime now a politician is caught saying something inappropriate, illegal, or offensive, they have plausible deniability, they are now going to say this content is fake, Fari told Vice. Fari, who is an image forensics expert, has written about detecting fake videos by observing the blood flow in a person's face, as well as how natural light appears in such videos. To demonstrate the rapidly advancing nature of AI-generated fake videos, comedian and film director Jordan Peele teamed up with Monkey Paw Productions and BuzzFeed to show a believably real former President Barack Obama call Trump a dips asterisk asterisk t and tell people to stay woke. It's an absolutely fake video but Peel's remarkable imitation of Obama's voice, including an R in the middle, makes the short clip highly convincing. University of Texas law professor and former White House advisor Bobby Chesney told Vice that the creators of such deepfakes could legally argue that their videos constitute art. That's where it gets tricky, Chesney said. If I'm a bad actor, when I'm called to account for a damaging deepfake, I would certainly claim it is satire, but victims of such videos could be able to hold deepfake creators accountable. In January, Bennett Kelly, who created the Internet Law Center, told Bustle that although he didn't think present legislation contemplates the dangers of these videos, he said that you could argue that it's the same harm as revenge porn observers have already noted that although these fake videos are being scrubbed from the pages of Twitter, Pornhub, and Reddit, they remain visible in Google searches.